bless you all today. And I'm Pastor Charles Perez with First United Methodist Church, as well as Holy Hoops, Mara Esperanza, and also Morristown United Methodist Church. And so on this uh, day, whenever you choose to press the link, it could be Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, I hope this becomes a blessing for you. So let us pray. Oh Lord, our God, we just want to say thank you for the day that you have given us. Honestly, Lord, these are some weird times. A time where we are called to be relational, but yet keep distant from each other. A time where kids are home, but people are not working, or at least most of them. And so we ask that you guide us in these trying times. Allow us to see the blessings and the silver lining. Allow us, Lord, to still stay hopeful and be a blessing and bless others and receive your blessing in the midst of times where it seems chaotic. Help us to embrace the order that you bring and the order that we could give to others as a blessing. So we ask that you be with us in the service, service right here that we're about to worship together and as well as with all of us as we navigate during times where things are not how it usually is, Lord. So we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will uh, read Psalm 8. It's a beautiful psalm where it encompasses all of creation. That's going to be read by Jideon. Psalm 8, Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens through the praise of our children and infants. You have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them human human beings that you will care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rule the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the skies, the fish in the sea, all the swim, the paths of the seas. Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all earth. Thank you for that reading. And at this moment, I want to do the children's sermon. And so I want to show you this cool book, kids. And it uh, says, The 100 Ideas That Changed the World, History's Greatest Breakthroughs, Inventions, and Theories. And you can see here, you see Einstein, you see our galaxy, you see technology, and you see Jesus. And the reason I want to share this with you is because... You know what? As we get educated, as we get closer to God, you know, he gave us intelligence. And I know one day um, your names will be on here as the other 100 ideas that change the world. And so um, as you're schooling at home, you know, um, as you're there with your parents, I always say this to people and I always say this to my kids. God, family, education, that's a great philosophy to have. To be able to understand yourself, kids, understanding people, understanding God and this whole universe. Seek that for the rest of your, of your life. And I guarantee you that one day you'll be written in one of these books. And what you give to humanity will bring us closer to God and to a better world. Let us pray, children. So I will pause as I will pray because I want you to repeat after me. Our Lord, our God, thank you for the education. Thank you that I can learn more about you. Help us as we are home to continue to learn. Bless our parents or our guardians and help us, Lord, to be a generation 
with the next 100 ideas to make this world a better place. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to do some worship. And so we're going to give you a traditional song, contemporary song, and a little bit of a, a freestyle as well. So this is called um, Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Sing with me if you know it. Sing submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Fix a mission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Amen. This next song here that we're going to sing is Great Are You, Lord. Beautiful song. I hope you enjoy it. with 
you give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Remember, So we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you all, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out a praise to you only. All the earth will shout your praise. Hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you. Shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. Now sing it and say, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out a praise to you only. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out a praise. We pour out a praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out a praise to you only. We got one more for you. In this church, we got a little bit of everything. So now I'm going to just do a freestyle for y'all. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, I feel so isolated in my house. I see the cheese and get gets the mouse. And after that, all my clicking in the mouse, right there in front of the screen. And even though I gotta believe that we're gonna go outside, we're gonna achieve. I don't gotta be six feet away from him or her. Matter of fact, we can love each other. You are my sisters and my brothers. Man, blessings from my mother and her father. Especially for my heavenly father. Because this virus, I gotta stay farther. Man, I'm trying to help the people. Man, this is the good and stop the evil. 
But I gotta give my life to Christ I'm telling you cause we gonna be alright Give it a couple of weeks, a couple of months We gonna go outside, see the sun Shining on earth, I'm telling you I felt like I was going berserk I felt my life was cursed, I felt like it got worse I remember as a little kid Taking money from my mama purse I told the Lord forgive me for the hurt Because I went to church, I tried to get Jesus But guess what, people just pushed me away And I'm not trying to go straight I'm trying to portray it's something good I was raised in the hood, staying alive I'm knocking on wood, but thank you Lord, cause I should I'm gonna know your commandments, I'm gonna know your laws Back in the days, man, I used to be sore, but now I'm Paul My arm is strong, but guess what? Poof, on this earth and one day you could be gone I can't wait till I get to heaven I prayed that when I was seven, and then at eleven I was in front of a seven-eleven, drinking a slurpee And I told the devil, please don't hurt me But God said, I put an angel in front of you I'm Telling you, cause he's the one who's gonna get you through And my God is so cool I'm telling you, man, he's the one who rules. He's the creator of all the animals, the mammals, even though the people who are evil cannibals. After that, guess what? People just acted with a couple of things. I gave my wife a beautiful ring. I'd rather rap this sing. I told the devil with God by my side, you're going to feel my sting. And peace I bring. And blessings I bring. But sometimes I want to swim. I got to love my enemy. Even though sometimes people are not friendly. But I'm going to keep going no matter what happens in life. And that's right, I gotta follow the light We're gonna be okay, just trust God I know some of you say, I just lost my job And you're like, what I'm gonna do? And matter of fact, God will get you through Holy hoops, love my speranza I love my people We're gonna go through this and get over it And it's gonna be the end Cause God will always be your best friend He's the one who just forgive you for your sins He's the one that you're gonna finally win And he's the one that <sighs> Gave you that oxygen. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. That was fun. At this time, we're going to have uh, Jadil back. He's going to do Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 2. And then I'll give y'all the word, all right? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the spirit of the God was hovering over the waters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got to have fun with church, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, let, let's be honest. Um, we are living in chaotic times. And we're all just trying to make sense of it. And everyone wants order. That's what we're all looking for. The scriptures tell us that Jadil just read that in the beginning, the earth was formless. Check this out. Formless. It was empty and with darkness. And you know what quickly comes into mind? The word chaos. And in the beginning of the creation of the earth. It also says the spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God started to take the chaos. And what does he do with chaos? He puts order. Chaos is operating in the unseen world through fear. There's people right now, and not all cases, some, where the actual deadliest virus right now we're dealing with is fear. I'm going to be honest. I was even kind of going a little bit crazy myself. Do I have something at one point? The mind plays tricks. It's the fear. The fear to go outside. The fear when you're in shop right or fear wherever you are in groceries. It's scary right now as people can die from a virus. We could contaminate each other and people are isolated truly on their own. Look, if you got a friend or brother, sister, or someone, thank God. Some people don't even have that, and please pray for them. Chaos is operating where there's a lack of education, understanding, even confusion in what we're dealing with today. Chaos is operating when all we can do is think, see, and speak on this pandemic. Here, I've, I've had a conversation with people who said, I got to eventually stop looking at the news because it's just driving me nuts. This is all I hear. You see, order 
is found when we realize that God declared the world to be good and that there is more to the universe than mere materialism. Order is found knowing that Mother Nature is being healed through this chaos. Think about it. Less cars are being driven. Less factories of pollution. Scientists are saying that the ozone layer of Mother Earth is actually healing. Animals are coming back to certain places they weren't before. You know, the people I feel for most, and I, and I hope you have them in your prayers, and I hope you've helped them. It's the people on the margins, like the homeless, the undocumented, the jobless, those in poverty, the elderly, the sick, those who lost loved ones and the like are experiencing true chaos in their lives right now. And God is calling us to take the spirit of God and bring forth order. That order lives in us. And breathes through us. And it is the light of God. Through community. Through good hearted people. Through our churches. Our political officials. Nonprofits. We can bring forth order. I have seen it with my own eyes. Food pantries. Giving out food to those in need. I have seen inspiring messages. Sermons. Devotionals. Videos. Music. Singing in the light. Through social media. We do this because of a God of order, of light and love that lives in each one of us. Let's be honest. This can become a time of rest if we allow it. This can become a time of reflection, prayer, study if we allow it to. This could be a time about learning about technology and social media in ways we never would have done before. This could be a time to spend doing things I've never had time in the home. This could be a time to spend with my family in the household. This could be a very special time with God if I allow it to be. Mother Earth is breathing and healing while we are encountering chaos. And the question becomes, where the blessings of order during this time are and how can I become the blessing of order during the time of chaos Jack Deere said that the spirit brings order of chaos for chaos is often the working out of a hidden order that goes beyond my own thinking for I am nowhere near to bring to be even anything close to God so chaos can have a tremendous blessing for us if we allow it to be. And that's why there's a scripture that says, all things work together for good to those who love God, the good and even the bad people. I want you to know that loving each other through bringing forth order is more important to God than a perfect world. I want to say that again. I want you to know that loving each other through bringing forth order is more important to God than a perfect world. Evil and darkness are real and are a separate entity from God. It was here in the beginning of creation and it manifested itself in front of Adam and Eve through a snake. We can live at times in a world of disorder, rebellion, suffering, even pain and death in the creation. If only there can be love. For love is order in the midst of chaos. And what we do and what we say using social media, get up every day and post something, send something, do something to demonstrate love to humanity right now. Give somebody a call. Be encouraging, inspire, whatever we can do, especially those on the margins and what we do and what we can say is love in the midst of order being put together because of this chaos right now. We live in a world that desperately wants us to believe that all that exists is material things that we can touch and see. The word of God and this life has taught me that I live in two worlds. There's a natural, material world. 
as well as an invisible and spiritual world. In both, there is both good and evil. Viruses are small, actually very small. And check this out, people. They are about one billionth of a meter in a diameter that can be seen only with the naked eye using a NASA scope. Look how small they are. So they live in an unseen world, this virus. Look, people. Job in the Bible lost it all. His wealth. His kids. Pretty much say his marriage. His health. And a place of honor. And at the end, God doubled all that Job lost for his continuous faithfulness despite the horrendous chaos he went through. And so I leave all of you with the words that God gave Job. Even chaos is under my control. I'll say it two more times. So I leave you all with the words that God gave Job. Even chaos is under my control. Even chaos is under my control. Amen. This moment, and I already sent um, emails and text messages. You can send it through mail, the offering, or you could do it online. And so I'll be blessing all of those that give at this moment. Oh Lord our God, those who give online and those who give it through mail, I just want to say thank you for these individuals that continue to love their church and what the church offers to the community. As the church is very important to the community. Especially now as we are doing a great service to those on the margins here at First United Methodist Church. So bless those who have and those who cannot give. And just provide for us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I've been sending uh, messages to all of you. To Holy Hoops. Um, Run of Speranza, 12 p.m. people, 9.30 in the morning. All of you who speak English, um, I my thoughts and prayers are with you every single day in ways that has never been done before. Remember, I love you all, but God loves you the most. Blessings to the community of Dover. Blessings to Morristown and to all our world at this moment. God bless you all.